Hello guys, it's your girl Nana and this is Onana Nation. So if you're new on this channel, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe honey because you would definitely love it here. And shout out to all our visiting subscribers, you guys are the ish. I appreciate you guys so much for all the love and support. My people, wahala. <laughs> wahala, I know the finish show. So today we woke up to the trending story of Miss Cameron's second dolphin, Prandi Nuela. So Prandi Nuela just woke up one morning and found herself on the hot seat. How did this happen? So the lady currently has her knocking video. Hey, oh, Miss Cameron, no, we're supposed to do media tours. They tell people how Cameroon is a great country, what her plans and her dreams are for Cameroonian girls and women, what she's going to do, you know, to help young ladies out there harness their full potential, blah, blah, blah. You know, all that kind of brick and lace, we miss, they do know. So yes. So Miss Cameron wakes up one morning and her knocking videos are all over social media they are making tours on whatsapp groups on um telegram groups and whatnot people are just looking at her now and like they're like you know when somebody sees your knocking video now they are intimate with you like they know you know you they know how your how your vagina looks they know everything you do they know whether you're freaky or whatever they know so it's a little humiliating and embarrassing but you know hey we're only human beings things happen what she has to do is dust herself and wake up from this so in the wake of this video so facing the internet everybody's asking like ah ah how did video do reach me now now with this she done for her own house they plan how for celebrate we means they how the video take reach my phone how it did reach we people want to know and that's where another nation comes in with the scoop <laughs> after reading a lot of articles on the internet after listening to some people's version there's also some audios on whatsapp and stuff like that so we got the truth we got to the genesis of the wahala what had happened was this lady prendi noella was dating a guy called hands and she and hans they thought they were <laughs> angelina jolie and brad pitt so they were knocking and putting camera on have we not addressed this topic again have we not addressed this topic before there is no reason on earth why you should be knocking with your camera on unless it's mistakes you made in the 19th century that are catching up with you today but in this day and age there's absolutely no reason why you should be knocking with your camera on because you don't know where this relationship is going to go tomorrow you break up with this guy he's angry with you that you've broken his heart he puts it on the internet or he starts dating someone else and she takes the video and does things with it which was um brandy noella's case brandy noella was dating hands and she and hands were feeling themselves thinking they were you know miss universe and they recorded themselves and stuff like that while they were knocking and she and hands broke up you know when you're in miss they don't want you to have relationships and stuff like that those girls are always single because they need them to be running errands and stuff in your own day in fact that's another topic for another day the woman who organizes miss cameron there's been talks on the street that she uses these girls she she gives them out to ministers and you know those big people in your own day and Dwala, and she takes money from them so she's giving girls out to people out there that's why two of her misses of last season even had to drop out before the race even ended allegedly don't go and quote me anywhere allegedly all right so prince noella made this video with her guy hands and they broke up they went their separate ways me um prince noella went into the miss venture started featuring miss cameroon and hands went and started dating somebody else and you know my gender no we want to see we want to see we want to see what our guys are up to once in a while maybe once every six months or whatever you can stumble on his phone and you just want to snoop real quick to see like what is he up to so um hans's current baby picked his phone and she opened and she saw videos, unfortunately, knocking videos of Prenzi Noella and her guy, her current guy. So in her mind, you know, like me, if I'm dating a guy and I see videos of another girl on your phone, I mean, I'll be logical about it, B. We have to talk. Sit down. Waiting they happen. Why do you have these ladies knocking videos in your phone? I mean, that was a whole era ago. You guys were together. I get it. You guys are no longer together. Why do you need to keep her videos? I mean.
please delete the videos period you know you'll be trying to tell the guy like i'm with you right now i'm not comfortable you with you keeping pictures on videos of your ex and stuff like that it's really disrespectful to me you know i'm here now you and i are dating i should be enough for you why are you keeping this lady's videos worst of all knocking videos you understand so that's what's going on and she would have been logical about it and take the high road but she decided to go low low under and see what she did she took the video and then she started thinking to herself like i can use this video to bring this girl down she said she'd be miss cameron i be a get ways i feel make her be accountable that's how the current bay took the video now and forwarded to her own phone and then she deleted the video from the guy's phone so now she has the evidence the guy doesn't have it and he's there like a mumu he doesn't know anything has happened so now that's how the current bay took the video and started calling this girl panting well like hello Nuela, i have your knocking videos and if you don't give me a certain sum of money i'm going to put them out there on the internet i'm going to disseminate the videos so Nuela and i started begging like i beg sis i don't work so hard to get this position of second runner up or second dolphin i beg mommy no spoil my name so i'm just things are just starting to look out well for me i mean people are taking to take me seriously i'm building a platform and a voice for myself don't do this don't be the one to do this to me so as noella was begging this lady thinking that the lady had small compassion and understanding for her not knowing that the lady was all about the money so the lady was telling her noella all that big with the big so the frying her beans so with the boiling and rice come on um i'm going to give you the video and delete it from my own end if you give me money if you pay me hush money i'll sit quiet and i'll not share the video so noella was asking her like okay sis let's negotiate how much do you want so this lady said she wanted one million friends if so noella was like one million tata koko where will i get this money from to give you right now so the lady was insisting that if you don't give the one million ah yeah the one who has everything to lose now i will share the video everywhere so noella told her you know what give me some time i'll struggle to come up with this money so the lady gave noella a few weeks noella struggled to raise one million it's not easy to raise that kind of money in pay so noella struggled and after a couple of weeks but she could not raise the money she got the lady called again like huh you think i'm playing with you i have your video i will share this video if you don't give me money yo. so she called back this other lady like i'm sorry to disappoint you miss um i don't have your money i don't have a million friends if to give you you know what go ahead disseminate the video share it everywhere go and pay for a broadcasting time on CRTV tv and share the video i don't care at this point i was not able to make the money i thought i could bury this hush hush unfortunately i'm not able to make the money and just go ahead and do what you want to do i guess um me talking to you is not enough me negotiating with you is not enough me even trying to beg your woman to woman for you not to shame me this way is not enough you want to disgrace me okay go ahead and put the video out there so she gave the lady the go ahead Head and hoping that the lady was going to stop you know sometimes when somebody's trying to get money out of you when you tell them like i don't give an f go ahead share the video sometimes it will make other people to be scared it will make them to feel like wow they cannot get nothing for loser they get any fear at all sometimes when somebody's trying to take money out of you extort money out of you tell them say go ahead do whatever you want to do do your worst internet they say be busy here. after two days someone don't forget about my wahala they'll be talking about somebody as period that's how the world of today is we're looking for the one trending story today next day we're talking about somebody else so whatever somebody is trying to do threatening you wh wherever you are whether you're knocking video they get them or telling me they share ram after two days we'll forget about it nobody guy and gonna meet that don't continue in life nobody now other picking in there for outside they don't continue their life so you're not the first you're not gonna be the last do not make knocking videos that's the message of this video but if in case you had made one in the past and it comes to haunt you today tell them to share it it's not a new punani we've seen it before it's unfortunate that it's out there but you know People are going to forget one, two, three days and they're going to jump onto the next trending story. So, um, this lady went ahead now. She was mad that the guy never gave you one million. You know, when somebody's trying to extort money from you, for your mind, you start calculating you don't pay the money because obviously you have so much to lose. You're a miss, you're a miss Cameroon, second runner up. So, Madame uh, Extorter was thinking that one million really enter Imomo. She was really planning what she's going to do with her one million, how she was going to go to Dubai and she with the big boys. You know, all those big dreams she had for money, we know what come on lazy youth dull youth so she was already calculating what she would do with the one million as plans in order to not give her the money now unfortunately she felt mad and then she went and started disseminating the video sending it to whatsapp group sending it to some bloggers and stuff like that so now so video take a meet up with you when we sat down to celebrate women's day it's really unfortunate that a woman would do this to another woman bringing down another woman's crown embarrassing another woman and after all the hard work and traction she's managed to gather it for herself and she's gotten up to this higher level it's really unfortunate to see that it's another woman who wants to pull her down first of all it's not jealousy because she's not dating your boyfriend anymore she left your guy to chase her career why would you not just be content with the man in your life and maybe your own job and your own small homes why would you want to bring somebody else down 
it's unfortunate because just yesterday we were celebrating women's day you know women um we're talking about gender equality emancipation of the woman strengthening and empowering women you know when you educate a woman you educate a whole community because you know woman mother of humanity she's going to bring forth kids and you know she's the one who has to train them and teach them so much stuff so we're just talking about how to empower women and we rise by lifting each other hold a woman's hand empower her show her the way and stuff like that we are at an era where women should stop fighting each other i mean it's not competition she left you she left the guy just have him and go on with your life do great things together forget about her she's on a new journey in life trying to empower herself trying to build a name for herself why would you do this to this lady and the way the world works today negativity sticks you can do a hundred positive things nobody will ever remember this is this girl that was helping people this is this lady that was helping people they will look at the one everybody will tell you and only see the next That's what people remember. That's a stigma that stays with you. They don't remember all the positive deeds you've ever done in your life. So why would you want to bring down another woman down like this? Now, really, to say eh, the problem for woman, no, no, another woman. It's really unfortunate. So yeah, today we just want to know who this lady is, the one who take, who tried to take money from Noella, and Noella did not give her. So a couple of blogs are investigating the stories, and we're just here for the gist. Whenever I get up story as to who this lady is i'm going to come back and give you guys the detail but for now i love the way miss cameron or prancing well story she's really smart about it she's not crying crocodile tears or whatever i've been to her profile she's really tough about it i mean you can't mess with her that's what you got to do you have to have a solid backbone in today's day and age come what me that's the attitude everybody needs to have whatever comes you can tackle it you're strong so i've been to her page to see if she's addressed the scandal or if she said anything about this fiasco but she hasn't said nothing well done petit sir that's the right spirit you need to have right now do not address nothing not that zilch the story will die a natural death like every other story like every other scandal like every other bruhaha so don't say anything don't address it just let it die a natural death by two three four days we'll be talking about a different story hold your head high mama you didn't do nothing that people have not done before it's rather unfortunate that we are still recording making videos but you know she did it in the past and it's haunting her today to you watching me to i making this video all of us nobody to shoot for it in fact i don't even know how to say it because this is like the hundredth time i'm saying this nobody should for any reason even take a camera into the bedroom even they would tempt you how don't even just take a camera into your bedroom and put it on for any reason don't do it it's not a good idea first of all this day and age you know see you know even if you leak the knocking video no there's hackers out there, there's cameras out there. They get into your system and they get these messages and they, say, they share it out there for whatever reason. So make sure you don't even keep it in your phone to begin with. You may think you're smart today and you're like, you know what? I have those videos in my phone, but I'll never share it. It's not up to you. If you lose that phone in a taxi tomorrow, <laughs> If your baby picks up the phone because picking the day so <laughs> one day my son took it my phone and they took a picture took a picture of his face like his head one one quarter of his head and then put on my whatsapp so to just imagine i had a knocking video on my phone maybe not the knocking video that don't go for the whole way and you'll be ignorantly going about your day doing laundry ironing their clothes you know no say <laughs> your knocking videos or your stages and a hundred people have seen it already so you can see sometimes kids pick up your phone and Start pressing you don't know what they're doing he just took a picture of his head one quarter of his head like that and put on the stage so i want she done now my friends are contacting me like hey hey walk don't start i saw Nate's picture on your stage so he only took a picture of his head and put on the stage i'm like papa god the picking go the picking no go shame us <laughs> so i went to check my stages i saw a picture of the young man i'm like <laughs> i started laughing so hard i had to delete that picture so yeah as you can clearly see disseminating your knocking videos is not even up there's so many factors that can count there's so many ways the video can get out there that are beyond your control so bottom line of this video is don't make any knocking video that's the bottom line do not make any knocking videos do not record anything you know to avoid stories that touch People's story will die after one or two days. Other people's story will be the reason why you will not have a job. Everybody will not want to employ you because of this or that, depending on the field where you work. Imagine you're in corporate management or you're, in, you're a human resource person or you have those kind of white collars, six figure, seven figure jobs. <laughs> Excuse me. Pictures and videos like this can actually make or mar your career. So you want to be careful with the kind of things you record on camera. I love you guys so much. I remember your girl, Nana. If it is your first time on this channel, you're welcome please go ahead and subscribe because you will definitely love it here um i want to appreciate all my subscribers for all the love and support i know sometimes i'm just busy with the kids busy at home and i don't really have time to do videos like that all the time so you guys bear with me you know I always jump in front of the camera every time i get a chance every time i get a few minutes to say something 
the camera i'll do that other than that if you don't see me just know i'm busy give me a please <laughs> so when you guys are missing me just know i'm home just busy with life and busy with family and you know just normal day-to-day -day life i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time yeah goodbye